Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about ChatGPT, artificial intelligence, large language models, and how you can use them to advance your business. What are different use cases that you could implement with this technology? Um, what are different type of advantages that you can uh, get from this technology? And I understand that the problem that you are having the difficulty that most of the people have is that they don't have time. Technology is advancing so rapidly that it becomes almost impossible to implement some of the use cases in your business uh, domain. And people like yourself are busy juggling with their, their jobs, um, their day-to-day -day routines, their mundane tasks. They hardly have any time left to learn a new technology and then implement it for their uh, business use cases. And I understand how you feel because I have been there. Um, I understand uh, kind of uh, trouble that you have because there is not enough time, there is not enough guidance, and you don't know how to leverage the technology. You don't know where to look for the help. When you go to Google, there are so many uh, resources that you find, but it is hardly impossible to leverage uh, and, and decide which one to use and which one clearly takes you from point A to point B, from your uh, initial desire to your results that you want to achieve. So then it becomes really difficult for people like yourself uh, to choose which resource, which tutorial, which guide, which mentor to work with to really understand and not only understand the technology, but also to implement it for your business advantage, for your competitive advantage. And before going uh, deep into the technology, let me give you just high level sneak overview of what are the things that you could do. For example, when talking about ChatGPT, you need to understand what are different use cases that you could implement with it. What is the technology behind it? What are large language models? What is artificial intelligence? What is the transformer model? What is the attention mechanism? And things like that. And, and when you want to interact with ChatGPT, it is very important that you understand how to interact with ChatGPT, how to create and craft effective prompts so that you get the desired results. Uh, exploring various use cases, understanding how the context retention within the prompt works, how to craft effective prompts so that you get the desired results, avoiding hallucinations, how to control those hallucinations, how to improve the accuracy and relevance of the responses that you get in return, how to leverage memory and have the in-depth discussions with ChatGPT, how to use it for your domain-specific use cases, how to enhance your creativity, augment your creativity with it, and understanding the ethical implications of ChatGPT's generated content, how to tackle privacy and other issues related to data, and so much more. And there is so much more that you can think about, you can read about, but the problem always comes with how to implement it. And just to give you an idea, what gives me the credibility to talk about this or offer this is I have been building, developing AI systems for over 20 years. The first time I developed a neural network to recognize hand gestures, fingers, and things like that was more than 20 years ago. Uh, when I implemented first neural network in C++. Uh, you know, now the technology has advanced so much thanks to the big data momentum, thanks to deep learning, and thanks to generative AI since last couple of years ago, that now we can do so much uh, with, with within such a short time and within just writing a, a prompt to the chat GPT and large language models that we have available, uh, back then it was not that easily possible, right? So I have done um, work on this technology for so many years and I've helped many, many Fortune 500 companies transform 
their businesses with AI, whether it's uh, related to uh, effective decision making, whether it's related to cost uh, optimization, cost reduction, decision optimization, um, offering new business uh, opportunities and opening new business models for the businesses, and many, many other use cases. I think we would need a lot of time to speak about uh, each of those use cases that I've worked on. Um, of course, um, just to give you an idea, for example, what I did with ChatGPT is work for one of our clients to help them uh, optimize and create a travel plan. So, for example, if you are a traveler, you hit like, I would like to go to Amsterdam. When you hit this, um, um, when you write this uh, prompt and hit the enter, the large language model would return to you the complete end-to-end -end travel plan. How cool is that? Isn't it? It is. It is really cool, really great that you get all the details, whether you need to take a train, whether you need to take uh, the airplane, whether you should go with the bus uh, or some other public transport, whether you need to uh, book an accommodation, what kind of accommodation it should be, what kind of uh, touristic places you should be visiting and things like that. So you get a complete plan and that's really amazing, right? Uh, so these are um, uh, kind of uh, projects or examples that you could do. Of course, now you might be thinking, oh, I don't have much to do with that kind of business. Of course, you don't have to work only on that use case. Whatever your business is, whatever your use case is, um, you could, for example, look at my YouTube channel. Uh, I have provided many of those use cases, for example, how you could use AI and generative AI for kindergarten, how you could use generative AI uh, to enhance the business of a bakery uh, for a hairdresser. And there are many examples for like big enterprises, businesses, financial institutions, other industry verticals. You can think about it and AI is there to help you to advance your business, to uh, optimize your operations, to reduce cost, to reduce risk, and things like that. Now, what are the action steps that you need to uh, take in order to learn a technology, in order to learn a concept? So in my point of view, there are three steps. First is learn the basics, right? Learn the basic uh, concepts. And then the second step is uh, try to understand how the, does this technology work, putting things together. And the last step is implement it on your business. Apply it to your situation, to your use case, to your business scenario, and then see the results coming. So we will go through all of these three steps so that you could really become master of chat CPT, master of prompt engineering, master of large language models, how they work and how you could interact with them, how you could leverage them. I have mentioned already uh, one of the testimonials and there are many more that I could share with you, but for the brevity reasons, I would cut it short here. Uh, as I mentioned before, I have worked with many, many of the Fortune 500 companies across uh, the world and, and help them transform with AI and I have been doing it for over two de decades. And I would love to share with you my journey. Uh, what are the learnings? What are different ups and downs that I have seen? And how you could uh, cut your short time. I'm not talking about shortcut. I'm talking about cutting your uh, time short so that you can use it effectively, learn the key concepts and start applying it to your business. Start using the technology uh, so that you could benefit, you and your business could benefit from it. So now if you like this and you would love to learn um, this, this technology in detail, not just very high level, I know all of you have tried this technology to one level or the other, but really going deep, if you would like to know, click the link below and try the free trial and have a look for yourself. Happy learning.